Manchester United this weekend, we're playing Wolves. We've had the 5-1 against Leeds. Sensational start to the season. And then we had Southampton. We had Fred starting in midfield with Matic. We had a painful double pivot. We had a formation that didn't work. We had a Manchester United team who were brilliant for like 25 minutes in the second half, but ultimately a very frustrating away game against Southampton. First time. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer needs to make sure that does not happen here against Wolves this weekend. Against a team which is going to have Ruben Neves in. Hmm, wouldn't he be a nice signing? But what will Manchester United's team be? This is going to be my predicted 11 video with the team I think Solskjaer will put out. Caveat, not the team I would like to see Solskjaer put out, but the team I think he will play. But you can let me know who you think will start this weekend for Manchester United, and you can let me know in the comments below. Let's get straight into this one. David De Gea, he's definitely starting goal. No questions asked. He's played well in his first couple of games. Opportunity was given to him because Dean. I think Dean Henderson would have started the season if he didn't have long COVID. My own opinion, you might disagree with that. Back four, Shaw, Maguire, Varane. And wan for fuck's sake, Solskjaer, start Varane. He should have started against Southampton. If he did start against Southampton, look, this is a big thing that we can watch against Wolves. And it's a big reason why I'm looking forward to seeing Varane in this team. Watch us play with a higher line. We're not going to sit on the edge of our own box anymore. With Varane in the team, there's going to be an air of confidence that's going to come into our defence and playing out from the back. And our defence will sit higher and closer towards the halfway line. That's going to make a key difference to the how our pivot plays. Because if you don't do that and you're banked on the edge of your own box, it's what happened against Southampton. Fred and Matic received the ball too deep from our defenders and United struggled against the press. Varane coming in, Champions League Varane. I can't wait to see what impact he has on this team. We need him in that team. Get him in there, Solskjaer. No questions asked. wan was poor going forward against Southampton. Um... Uh, but we haven't started Jaden Sancho in front of him yet. And again, a big reason I think he will improve this season. He's not started off in the best of form, I'll be honest. But getting Varane in behind him, that will be certainly better for wan So that's my back five. The back five, there's not really too much of a conversation about. All the conversation lies around our midfield. Will Solskjaer start van der Beek? I don't think he will. What? What? Nah, I never knew that. I never knew that. My midfield two, and this this is this is going to annoy me. This is going to piss me off if I'm being completely honest. Look, McTominay is injured. If McTominay wasn't injured, he'd definitely be in this starting eleven, and it would probably be McTominay and Fred, which is a pretty much certainty for a lot of this season, unless we sign a new midfielder in the next four days. Fingers crossed. The simple solution here would be to probably play Matic again and bring in Donny van der Beek, who Fred against Southampton was poor, so poor in possession, so poor against the press. And that's something that van der Beek can do so well. He's press resistant. He's happy to perceive the ball with players pressing down on him and he won't just turn around and pass it back to our defence. He's capable of the intricate one-twos, quick passing in the same way that Fred isn't. But Matic, I think, will play. And I think Solskjaer is going to really shift things up in ways I don't think he should. And I think he's going to play Pogba there. I think we're going to see Paul Pogba dropping back and playing in a double pivot. Pogba and Matic, I don't like it. I don't like watching it. This is what I think. This is my predicted 11, not my 11 that I would choose to start. Very different things. I would definitely start van der Beek there. I think he deserves it. And I hope that he does start because I don't want to see our whole attack changing shape because Pogba is getting dragged back. His best performance in a long time in the United shirt came on the left wing against Leeds when he had the freedom to operate, not purely as a left winger, but more as an inside forward, but on the left, not as part of a double pivot. You put that sort of responsibility on Paul Pogba. He's not very press resistant either. Paul Pogba likes having time on the ball. If you can take that time away from him and squeeze him, he tends to lose possession quite a lot in that role. He's not used to it. I don't want to see Pogba and Matic play there, but I think they will. And I think you're probably going to see Sancho start, but on the left-hand side. I think Bruno through the middle, I think Greenwood on the right, and I think Martial up front. I'll explain all my decisions. And again, I will say, this is not the 11 I would want to see, but this is what I think we will see. Sancho out on the left. That's not where I want to see him play. I want to see Pogba holding that position, but because McTominay is injured, because Fred plays so poorly against Southampton, I think we'll see a switch. I don't think it'll be Van der Beek. If Van der Beek comes in there, it's very simple. Van der Beek comes in for Fred. Then you keep Pogba out on the left. You can start Sancho out on the right. You can keep Greenwood up front. For me, that makes so much more sense and will be a far better starting 11 than this one. But this is what I'm expecting to happen. Solskjaer's done it before and I think he'll do it again. And it's poor decisions. I hope I'm wrong, but let's see. Sancho out on the left. Look, of course he can play out on the left, but he was brought in as a right winger. We've got Rashford out on the left when he's back fit. He's training, good. 
I look forward to seeing him out on the left wing at 100%. Jaden Sancho, he should be out on the right-hand side. That's where he's going to have the biggest impact at Manchester United. Seeing him shipped out on the left and Popper move back, I would say it's the wrong way to deal with our midfield issues at the moment. It should be Van der Beek there, and I hope Solskjaer does that, but this is my predicted 11. As far as Greenwood goes, again, this is a player that's being moved out of position. Greenwood should be playing up front. He was so good against Leeds. Fantastic. And he scored against Southampton, even though he got moved for Martial, a player who's so bang out of form that he doesn't deserve to be starting this game. Martial shouldn't be starting. Greenwood should be up front. Sancho should be on the right wing. Left wing, you can have a debate about it. Dan James there, Martial there, Elanga there. It should be Greenwood up front and Martial should be on the bench. But this is what I think Solskjaer will do. And I, I, I think it's a problem. He's got to be playing players who are in form in the right positions for them and not just shifting it all around. Pogba, his best performances this season, his best performance came on the left. Don't play him in a double pivot. I hope that doesn't change. Something has to give in the middle because Matic and Fred does not work as a partnership. Fred and McTominay only works against certain teams, not against, not against a disciplined team. Are we going to be playing a 4-2-3-1 Wolves here with Neves sitting there? And I, look, if Neves has a masterclass against us, that's just going to piss me off even more. But that is what my predicted 11 is. I think Popper, we're going to see him dropping deeper into a double pivot. It's not what I want. It's what I think will happen. I think Sancho will start his first game, but he's going to start out on the left. I think we'll see Greenwood move, shifted to the right again, to make way for Martial or maybe Cavani, either or. But that's my predicted 11 for the Wolves game this weekend. It's not what I'd like to see. I want to see Donny van der Beek starting in this game. But you can let me know in the comments whether you think van der Beek will start. What about Varane? What about Sancho? What's the formation? What changes do you think Solskjaer will make from that game against Southampton at the weekend? Make sure you please drop a like on the video and subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. And I'll see you on Sunday for the Wolves game.